Good morning, everyone. Thank you so much for joining us here at Earth and Sky. We appreciate and value each and every one of you. Every time you hit that like button or the love button or leave us a comment, it really brings us a lot of joy here too. We're going to get right into it with a four-part series. We're going to do talking about the elements and the directions, talking about uh, the south and the elements of that is what we're going to talk about this week. And then coming up, we're going to talk about the east and all of the things that go with that and how to bring those elements and how to increase your life as you think about what it is you need in your life. And the same thing with the North and the West as well. So depending on what your foundation is and your philosophy, your belief system, for some people, when they start working with the elements, they like to work with the East direction first, and then they start moving around. And for the shamans and for uh, that are in South America, I specifically derive from the Laika tribe, which is based in Peru. We start with the South. So we're going to start talking about the South this week and all of the ways that if you want to bring up the passion and the transformation and the fiery elements that are associated with the South, ways that you can do that. So first off is what is the South? What am I even talking about? For some of you, this may be the very first time you've been introduced to the concept about the directions and what those elements bring. So every direction has an element that goes with it. So the Southern sphere, the direction and the arena of the South is all about the element of fire. It brings up, when you think about fire, it brings up a thought about transformation. What are you doing? You're taking something that's solid, you're bringing a lot of heat to it, and it starts to shift and to change. It changes how it looks. It, the, if it's wood, wood becomes ash as the smoke rises up out of it. Sometimes we find ourselves in those positions in our life. Sometimes we may find ourselves where we feel like life feels like it's on fire. You might be going through some challenges in your own life where it feels like there's a lot of fire going on. There's a lot of heat in your life. And so you might want to do something to kind of tone that down. You might want to lean into it and really feel and embrace the fire and embrace the transformation that it's bringing because anytime we go through those seasons where we're in the element of fire, it's all about bringing up transformation. Just as you watch that piece of wood burn and transition and change into ash, rising up into smoke, you have it going both ways. It starts in the middle, the fire consumes it, the ash falls down, the smoke rises up. So you may feel like if you're in an element of a lot of heat and fire or stressful times, um, you might feel like you're being pulled in two directions. Oftentimes that's one of the ways that we feel a lot of that heated type of stress. But if you feel like you're in a rut and you feel like maybe you're kind of stuck and you're not sure what to do, you feel like you're craving some change or you're craving growth and you're not sure where to go, leaning into the element of the south is a great way to do it because the south element will burn away and clear away and release away whatever is holding you back, whatever has been weighing down on you. Sometimes we get too comfortable with the comforts and we find ourselves not wanting to shift and change even though we're not very happy with where we are, but it's what you know, it's what you do, and change can be scary. So bringing in that element of self helps you to embrace and to run forward towards that growth and that transformation so that you can rise up to the level in your life where you're feeling happy and you find your zest and you find your passion. The South is all about fiery passion and really feeling energy and zest and excitement. If you find yourself in a spot where you're feeling a, a lull and you just don't have the energy to pull yourself up, you can bring up that fiery element and get yourself running forward again and realizing what your goals are and finding the passion to go after what your goals are and transforming yourself to clear away whatever's holding you back so you can embrace the new and bring it in and run into manifesting the life of your dreams. The South is such a big key for that. In the shamanism tradition, we talk about Sacha Mama is the name of the serpent 
and she's the one that helps to bring transformation. So when you think about serpents, sometimes uh, snakes get a bad rap because people can be afraid of them. Serpents are all about transformation and they go through these amazing changes that can really teach us a lot within our own lives too because every, very frequently the serpents need to shed their skin. As they shed their skin, they clear away everything that's on that outer surface and they embrace the fact that it's time to be born again in a way of coming out of that old skin and coming into the new, feeling good, having the, the whole, uh, everything is really transformed in a beautiful way with that. And as they do that, they, one of the things they go through is that they can no longer see. And some of the final parts of shedding that skin, it, the old skin covers the eyes. So you're not looking outside yourself anymore. You're looking within, you're relying on the senses. What do you feel? The snakes are always crawling around Around, and so sometimes they're climbing up, but they notice everything that they feel. Notice what you feel down the front of your body. The chakras on the front of your body are your emotional centers. So Sacha Mama teaches us how to lean into that. How do we look into feeling, noticing how we feel within ourselves instead of thinking, does this look like something I want in my life? Does that person look like something that I want to get involved with? Instead, close your eyes, go within, block out what other people say, block out what you feel like culturally you're supposed to do or think or act like or have to, have to get done basically. And instead, go within, close off your ears, close off your eyes and feel within, feel what your heart is burning to tell you. Again, bringing in that element of fire. Feel what your gut is burning within to tell you because we all have that passion that's inside us. We just need to unlock it and then we charge forward into our destiny, creating, manifesting, bringing forth the life that is our dream of what we want to do. So if you feel like you're getting stuck and you can understand the concepts but you're just not sure so how do I really do this? There are some little mundane ways that work with triggering into the subconscious that can help you with this as well. So the South is represented by the color red. So if you're wanting to bring up more fiery energy in yourself, start wearing the color red. Red will bring up that sense of passion. Red will bring up that feeling of vitality. The color red correlates with the root chakra, which is also about safety and security and things like that. And the color orange is the sacral chakra, which is the chakra of the womb, which is the chakra that really brings in some of the uh, passionate aspects, creativity and passion. So you bring those two in together. Sometimes you have to let go of what feels safe and stable to bring in the creative, to really find your center to figure out what works for you. What are you passionate about? What will get you to have your spark back in life? I think over this last year, a lot of people found that we had to kind of hunker in. We started doing some reflection. We maybe didn't have as much interaction as we normally would and started evaluating life. What have you been doing? What does it feel like when you're alone? All of the questions you may have been thinking about. Well, now is the time to bring up that passion and to start really bringing out that fiery aspect within yourself and figuring out where do you want to go? So how did you answer those questions that came up within your mind over this last year? Find your creativity, find your passion, turn it on and go for what you want. We never know how much time we will have on this planet, in this body, in this life. So seize every moment in every day. That's what the uh, passion and the fire of the South teaches us to do. So just simply wearing red, bringing red into your life more, eating more red foods is another really basic way of starting to bring in that fiery aspect. To bring in the elements of the South through food, really leaning into spicy foods. If you can handle the spicy foods, the spicier the better as it builds the heat up within your body. You're wanting to bring up that heat as you go into the 
element of the aspect of fire and transformation and creating what you want in this world. Each of the directions are also associated with a season. So the element of fire is going to be associated with the summer, the hottest time of the year, the time when we uh, celebrate the sun with the solar, uh, the solar solstice. And we have the sunflowers that come up in the later part of the, uh, the summer. But bringing in all of those sun, solar, fiery aspects are really going to help you so that as you enter summer, you can really feel that fire pushing you forward, bringing back your zest for life, bringing back your smile, bringing back your hope, and feeling that you have the motivation and the drive to take the action that you need to take to get where you want to go. The, the southern aspect also is represented by the Archangel Mikael. Mikael is uh, an amazing Archangel who is also a warrior Archangel. So sometimes when you think about the south and being really fiery and passionate, it helps us to, it kind of leans into a bit of that side of the warrior. Sometimes we need the Archangel Mikael to help us and even our own inner warrior to help us when we need to clear and release cords, when we need to learn when to say no to things that are draining us, when to say no, when to say yes, when to let go of things that have been holding us back. Archangel Mikael has a sword in his right hand that he is always using to help clear away whatever needs to be released, cut off, cleared away, helps us to forge a path in front of us so we can charge forward towards those goals, hopes, dreams, making your life what it is meant to be, finding your destiny, claiming, choosing, being, living your destiny. All of these things are things that the element of the South can help you with. So I hope that gives you a little bit of insight and inspiration as we finish this uh, first chapter in our four-part series talking about the elements. I'd love to hear your comments and feedback of what you do with bringing in the elements of the South as well. And uh, I'd love to hear any stories, any suggestions, anything like that. Thank you all so much. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button. Consider subscribing to us on YouTube. Thank you so much. Have a great day.